Swanee River State Park has a beautiful river, great hiking, Line Sink Run, and a really nice old cemetery. Hey Rhonda, what are you doing? Third try, right? Um, <laughs> I'm driving. Um, we're heading to Swanee River State Park. We're going to camp for a couple nights and um, the weather is supposed to be really cold. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day except yeah, it's, it's like 40 degrees or 50 yeah. degrees or something. It's too cold, cold for us. us. Swanee River State Park is really nice. It's located between Jacksonville, Gainesville, and Tallahassee. All right, we just got in the park. We're looking for campsite number nine. One lesson we learned was the height of the sewer hose connections really matters. The site has really big roots. And we're set up over here. Well, Rhonda, we're about to do some extreme weather camping. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got my gloves. I got on three shirts. It should be below freezing tomorrow night. We enjoyed a nice private campsite with interesting neighbors. We hiked the river trail, which is really pretty along the river, balanced rock trail, where the rock's no longer there, Sand Hill Trail, which leads to the old cemetery, and Lime Sink Run, which we show later. So, a shaft from a steamboat engine? Well, no, it's probably what they use to turn the paddle boat wheel, part of the paddle boat wheel. So this is kind of railroady. Well, we walked down the trail, and it led to a nice lookout. This is where the Suwannee River is to the right. I think it's the Withlacoochee comes in here and they meet and go out to the Gulf of Mexico. We're really high up off the water. Over. That's the Suwannee River Beach. A big tree there. I'm surprised I don't see a rope swing. I guess because it's in the state park. Otherwise it would be redneck paradise. And Jackson Cannon. So his is cool because it's shaped like a tree log. This appears to be the newest one, 1973. Not 1823 to 1906. He lived a long time for those times because. All right, I think these little ones, these are made out of metal. Oh, yeah, you can see the back. 1862. That's before the Civil War. And Mr. Swift, 1893. This is really nice pine forest we're walking through. You can tell there would fire been through here. It's nice to be in one where it's not all planted pine and straight rows. It's really burned at the bottom. It's a big tall tree, still alive. Good morning. Uh, it's nice outside. It's really not too cold. It's probably about 45 degrees. What do you think? Maybe it's cold. It's cold. This is frigid camping. Yeah, actually, I still have on three shirts and my same jacket as yesterday. Um, but we're going on the Swanee River Trail, and then we're going on another trail. We're going to do about a five-mile hike. Palmettos. That's an oak tree. So this is a natural gas pipeline. It goes underneath the Suwannee River and keeps on going. So if it's liquefied natural gas and there was a break, it has made some woodpeckers very happy. Really big old cedar tree. Still green up at the top. Besides this flock of turkeys and other birds, I particularly enjoyed the awesome trees we saw. They're not redwoods, but big pines, oaks, cypress, cedar, and holly are all nice. So this is Lime Sink Run. It reminds us of River Rise at Olino State Park where the Santa Fe River goes underground. 
Now entering the bridge over Lime Sink. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at that, it goes way up there. Look what it is. All we need now is a gator. More huge cypress trees. I don't know if that's just 80 years old or whatever from the 1930s when they said the last time it was logged over here or if that's older. But this sink area is pretty cool. Well, we're not sure what this was. It was some kind of a dam is my guess. We don't know much of the ancients' ways. There is 12,000 years of human history in the Suwannee Valley area. When the Spanish and French came, the area was populated by the Tamuqua. So we've been following Lime Sink Run. We're at this bridge here, and this is where it meets the Suwannee River. That sign also said that this is connected to a huge cave system, one of the longest in the world. What are you eating for breakfast, Rhonda? My yogurt and blueberries and nuts and honey. Very good. These next few days would be a great time to be here at Swanee River State Park, mm -hmm. which has really nice hiking, Pretty you know, campsite. beautiful views of the river. This time of year, certainly not crowded here. Um, we have a couple spots on either side of us empty. All right, we're headed out of the park. We had a good time. Well, Rhonda, what's the big thing you learned today? I'm not gonna say that one that I learned. But um, I learned that probably we should have gotten out of there a little sooner. It was a little stressful pushing it right up to one o'clock. Yes, we got our full mm -hmm. time period this time. But the lesson she wasn't going to say was, don't go uphill. And the other thing we learned was when the water tank is empty. We didn't want to keep the city water connected because of the cold weather. And it didn't feel comfortable. I thought the hose would freeze. So we took it off and we put water in the freshwater tank last night. I think more than we used, but I don't know. Obviously it works, not. the pump works a lot better with some more water in the tank. So we're gonna keep it over a third full all the time. Thanks for watching. We really enjoy making these videos, so please subscribe to see more.